electric cars are going to get louder yes louder in europe and also louder in the united states uh, starting next year but in europe it is today the new regulation goes in effect and i'll tell you all about it coming up next Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click on the subscribe button. And also, don't forget the bell notification icon right next to it, so you don't miss anything moving forward. All right. Uh, I, I know everybody who drives an electric car loves the fact how silent they are. And I think people who are actually watching us drive uh, enjoy how silent they are. Of course, people have been saying that, you know, in the parking lots, we can't hear them coming. Well, get off your phones then. But, you know, it, it's been okay. I have not seen any major statistics that said that, you know, all these people are getting hit and cats and dogs are getting hit by electric cars because they can't hear them coming. Uh, and, uh, nevertheless, uh, the regulation is taking effect in Europe uh, starting today, July 1st. Now, it is aiming at uh, uh, um, uh, uh, blind people, the, and not just fully blind people, people with uh, sight challenges. Um, and it, uh, it, it, does, uh, it does make sense because their uh, um, hearing is, is obviously one of the very few sites that they can rely on besides vision. And so vision, visually impaired. There you go. I was looking for that word. Okay. So, um, and it does make sense. But on the other hand, uh, it does, ca uh, you know, take away from the joys of technology of the cars being silent. Um, and now in Europe, uh, the car has to make a sound that's uh, as loud, no louder than the uh, engine, but obviously uh, loud enough that people can hear up to 12 uh, miles an hour. And uh, when this regulation takes effect here in the United States, that's going to be almost like 19 miles an hour. So I don't know how they came up with this, uh, with, with these, but um, so this could either be a really cool thing depending on the sound these cars are going to make or really, really annoying thing. So there are a few companies out there that put out uh, the sounds that they're planning on having their car cars make and they sound, you know, the hardest sound producers that, that, that create this amazing sounds. But let me just show you what, uh, oh, let's hear what, uh, what Nissan is working on. And I'm not sure if I like it. Let's hear it. All right. So, yeah. Um, Sorry, the video got stuck there for like, but you could hear it, right? So I, 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 to me, it's pretty annoying. Let me know in the comment section if it's not annoying to you. But I have heard other sounds that are pretty futuristic, and, and I can't play some of them because you know because of the copyright issues and stuff like that. But these are the sounds like when you watch like you know Men in Black or some futuristic movie with uh, with uh, with these cars that kind of uh, come and go, and the sounds are much more pleasant. It's kind of weird that movies are able to produce better sounds than the actual manufacturers that's supposed to. Uh, make them enjoyable for us but nevertheless um it's they they could be enjoyable and they also need to make sure that um people who are cannot see the car can hear how fast the car going uh when it comes to complete stop now i don't quite uh, I understand the regulation in terms of should the car be making it sound when it's actually standing still because i think that's still a very important thing to know that there's a giant killing machine right next to you that could uh, uh, get going. So I don't think they've that covered uh, uh, that. But uh, let's talk about some of the uh, you know positive and negative implications here. Right before, uh, after, right after, I'm going to tell you about the sponsor of this uh, channel. It's been Biden for all along. Uh, check out the uh, $45,000. That's the base price all electric SUV called Ambite coming to the U.S. and Europe. Much like these regulations, actually, uh, it's zero dollars to reserve yours for about 60 seconds of your time. So if you haven't for some reason done that, go to the description of this video. There's a link there so you can reserve your Byton today. Okay. So, and uh, meanwhile, let me just play a pleasant video of uh, Jaguar I-Pace because it's one of the uh, car manufacturers that have already uh, released some of the sounds that are planning to make. They're not, they're, they're not as annoying as Nissan's and I hope Nissan kind of works on that but they nevertheless it is kind of a sound of what you hear inside of the car uh, an electric car uh, just kind of amplified and maybe making a little bit pleasant slash annoying depending on what your ears feel like uh, uh, when it's when it's outside now but think about this yeah if one car comes and goes I can 
see how this is not that big of a deal. But imagine everyone's just like a bunch of cars going back and forth uh, on, on a smaller, especially on, a, on the in traffic. Like imagine all these cars are sitting in traffic and every car they're making mm, noise. And by the way, they're not required to make the same noise. They can make whatever the hell noise they really want, and so each car will probably have their signature noise, and uh, and and uh, I mean everyone's just gonna go crazy, you know. Uh, but, you know when people are getting tortured sometimes with sleep deprivation, this is what they do. They make you know they make them hear all these sounds 24/7 uh, that they can't get away from. I'm wondering if we're gonna be tortured on the roads or when we're, we're sitting in traffic, or imagine that a stop light or a stop sign where a bunch of cars take off at the same time. You know, it's like, it's, it's just gonna be, it, it, it's, I don't think it was uh, uh, thought through very well. Um, now, by the way, people are asking, it's like, well, what about when we, uh, when the cars are, you know, go past the, whatever, 12 or 19 mile an hour limit? Well, this is where people are relying on the noise of the wind and the tires that the car makes. I know I can argue that cars are going faster um, and still pretty silent, maybe bigger danger to a person, for, for example, who is blind or on the phone, which is kind of like being blind, right? On uh, Instagram or watching my videos on YouTube. Don't do that. Don't don't get hit by a car while watching my videos. So I, um, I, I, I think this regulation is, I understand it's a serving visually impaired community, but I think there are some things that we can still do to make it uh, ple pleasant for everybody um let me know in the comment section if you have better ideas but meanwhile don't forget to get on our vip list bonus stories every uh saturday uh check those out we just sent out one on uh over the weekend um other than that see you next time and remember to stay charged